Hello and welcome to 10 TCGs, 10 booster packs. Today with some, yeah, new TCGs. I Some I haven't looked into it before. Uh, Flesh and Blood part the Mist Veil. It's a very themed um, set around Asia. So some really nice artworks. Lokana, Magic in Japanese. And yeah, this is Hour of Devastation together with Amon Cat. Uh, it's like highly focused around ancient Egypt or inspired by ancient Egypt. So I got uh, some packs. Metazoo, yeah, I will talk about this later. Buddy Fight, Battle Spirit Saga, Arch Unite, Pokemon in English, Pallian Fates, Rebirth for You, and Osika, Miss Kobashi's Dragon Maid. And yeah, let's start with Flesh and Blood, or maybe I need some some nice picture for. Uh, for the thumbnail, so maybe like this, or uh, I don't want to put Medazu on the thumbnail. <laughs> so let's start with Flesh and Blood. I did open a booster box of Uprising because there was a cool dragon. I wanted to pull a Marvel dragon, which looked like the Deathwing character in World of Warcraft, but I didn't pull it, or at least I didn't pull the Marvel version. I pulled the regular version. Uh, where is the start? Like, is it okay? I'm confused. Why is it looking the same from the front and the back? Mind's Desire. Yeah, as I said, it's themed or like inspired around Asia. So yeah, in general, I'm not super into uh, Flesh and Blood. I think the cardstock is super thin. That's weird. And I, I, I saw some quality issues with my Uprising cards. I don't know how common it is for Flesh and Blood, but quality-wise, I, I found a lot of scratches and like whitening. Intimate inducement. Let's find out is the, the rare card in the middle, I guess. And uh, where's the, okay, there's the rarity coming. Skyhold Kaiko coming. Oh yeah, this is a card that's uh, available in, where's my focus in? Uh, as a marble full art, I think, and this looks so cool. The phoenix and the fox, I would say. Not a wolf, fox, I would guess. Okay, we have the rare card, a sense of ancestry mind. Big blue sky. Oh, a foil card. And uh, some some light scratches. Uh, foil card haunting specter. Gives me some Kitsune vibes. Sweet. It looks cool how the foiling. Oh, new. Spectre Shield. The character Mystic Assassin Hero. And Tiger Taming. So, yeah, maybe I will try to get some more from this set. I, I don't think I will, in general, open a lot of flesh and blood since it's not super my, my art style. But with the uh, Asian themed set, I, I would do really like. Yeah, Lokana. Uh, I got a few packs, I think in total eight for yeah this kind of video, like these 10 TCGs, 10 booster videos. But I don't know, I, part of me regrets it already since I, I really don't like Disney. I really don't like to think that I give them money and yeah, even if it's like a Ravensburger game, also so. Yeah, it's a TCG from my my country or like a, a German based. And I do like a lot of the old, especially the old Disney movies. And I still like from time to time I I watch Lion King. I think it's an awesome movie or like two movies. The first and the second is awesome. Hercules. Uh, yeah, you have to admit that the the artwork in Locana is sometimes really nice looking. At least they are not like Weiss Schwarz and just copying uh, screen grabs or screenshots. Scuttle, Mulan, Raja. Is this the rare? Okay, where are the rarities? Oh no, <laughs> so I guess the the rarity is. I actually don't know. Diablo devoted 
error. So yeah, this is, as you can tell, it's my first ever booster pack from Lokana. And yeah, I will probably open the eight packs and then you will never see this on my channel again since I, I just don't like Disney. Same reason that I don't really want to open the new Star Wars. Like, Disney is milking the franchise a lot and uh, I don't like it. Oh, Magic. I, I did open Magic in the past a lot and had quite a big collection. Even some commander decks and stuff, but yeah. I probably told it already in a previous video, but I, I had to sold my collection. Because I was very bad with money. Yeah, who would have guessed? But yeah, a lot of artwork in this set. And the rare card is in the beginning, so it's this... Uh, it's not a staff. Or was it an enchantment? Don't remember. But a lot of the the artwork is inspired by, by ancient Egypt. Even we have like on the on the rocks in the background hieroglyphs. So yeah, I will probably just put them into on here, the a pyramid. Put them into the binder, some obelisk. Uh meet. <laughs> oh yeah, made do. Oh my god. Yeah, never understood the hype in Germany. It never took off. There was a, I thought the speculation around it or the artificial hype created about it, but I never got it. I I think the artwork looks super bad. I always like. I think about committing war crimes when someone compares this artwork with the old Pokemon artwork because. Yeah, saying that this looks like old Pokemon is uh, comparing this artwork to Kenzukimuri artwork. Kenzukimuri is like the yeah one of the head creators of Pokemon, and this this is I oh man I I like the words or at least like I think I'm not allowed to say what I think about this comparison or like yeah uh, if you think this is you this looks like old pokemon man you you really have no idea about art like you are uneducated and yeah you you need some research i really question your taste and everything oh yeah we've got one foil card it looks really ugly like this the star foil it looks so bad i yeah just wanted to show or like at least i finally wanted to see these cards in in person want to see how they feel they're also very st uh, thin like very thin cardstock even uh, thinner than flesh and blood so not good and yeah man this looks so bad Ah, yeah, body fight. Uh, the dead TCG from Bushy Road. No idea why it died back in the day, and it was a, never really uh, popular in Germany at all. Probably there was a time when it was uh, popular in the US, as far as I know. There's uh, there are some character like this dragon. It's horrors. And you can see that it's inspired by, by ancient Egypt a little bit by the elements, but yeah, I, I don't know actually if there is a, a horrors card in this set. Let's find out. Evil demonic dragon Cornix. Oh, this. So it's a raven with a dragon. I like this design. Looks cool. Oh yeah, this is also a card from my ancient Egypt collection. Ah, uh, this probably not. Oh, okay, a foil card. What is this? A double rare. Not textured, but yeah, the ba <laughs> the bag is really special of body fight. The bag with a there's texture around the logo, so the bag feels like more uh, high quality than the front. Like they put more effort into the bag. Yeah, some kind of not really shat 
Shatter... Oh, Shatter Foiling, yeah. Does it have, like, a Spot Foiling? For newer TCGs... Okay, it has some kind of... Yeah. So the armor is highlighted. Probably not visible on camera. Yeah, not bad. Not textured, but... Deity Dragon Strategist. Valhide. Not hers, but take it. Maybe in some of the other packs. Battle Spirit Saga. Yeah, after I bought it, I was like, oh, okay, why is there a py pyramid in the background? This was not intentional. Uh, yeah, it was the Born Dead in, in Germany. Like, I don't think they ever even tried at all there for local tournament scene or like marketing wise i i never saw anything going on in germany uh they are still doing like new sets but uh, i don't know they try really hard to push it with uh, evangelion they started two there's one set uh, only Neon Genesis Evangelion and one where there were like box topper and special cards. But yeah, I I don't see a future for this to be honest. Uh art style wise it can get super weird. Like this ooh. And this can get so weird. Like sometimes they mix such different art styles and Yeah, they get kinda creative with creature design and stuff. There are sometimes some cool designs, but and at least these are the Pokemon or Magic size. Uh, in Japan, the Battle Spirits TCG is Yu-Gi-Oh size, and I don't like it. So that it's so small. I like the bigger cards, but Arcane Prince is un okay. And we pull a X card. I think there were like five or six per display, and this looks sweet. Ant-Man token, okay, and these are creepy. Heavenly Gate Guard and Clavis. Yeah, there's some some texture in the background. The sky has a pattern effect. And the staff is... No, it's not a staff, it's a key. Key. There's like a red foiled like jewelry. This looks nice. Who's the, the artist? Turanaki. That's really good. Good artwork. Especially mixed with anime. Anime stylized TCG. It's so hard to nail the. Like semi realistic look. And. This is really good. In so many cases. When they try. To go for a. For realistic look like this, it looks just creepy. <laughs> this is nice, really good. Uh, Arms Unite. Uh, there are also or always like two decks released for every release, and in these extra packs, you get just the same cards that you get from the decks and foil. So the decks are al always the same cards. So there's like not much randomizing or like. Yeah, so of course these booster packs are randomized, but the cards you pull are just the cards you get from the decks. Just more shiny and pretty and yeah, they are quite nice. Don't think I will buy more into it in the future, but this was set number three. Maybe I will look. There's a card gallery of this in a, on the website. Maybe if I find some nice art and Set number four, I will buy more, but for now, I don't think I will buy more into it. Also, that it doesn't have uh, texture. Like, all the foil cards have the same treatment of this gold stamping and no texture. They are well made. But yeah, now go into Pokemon. Uh, this was some kind of uh, shiny set, if I remember correctly. I'm not deep into Pokemon anymore. I don't play the games. I don't like a lot of the newer designs. It's looking weird. I'm I'm an old, crumpy 
guy. I like the like the first uh, the first two or maybe three generation, depending on my mood. But I would say the first two generations are my favorite. Uh, rebirth for you, and yeah, we we will see not anime characters in this one. It's some kind of like Darum is wrestling. I would say like Japanese wrestling. Don't ask me why I bought into it. I I wanted to see like woman who could like beat me in a fight. I don't know. Maybe I'm into that. Oh yeah. These look strong. What are they doing? Breaking their arms? And we get a triple rare. Not holographic, just has the gold border. Similar to like the the Digimon rare cards in the beginning, they had this gold stamp. And yeah. Rebirth for you. Sometimes they do have great collaboration and said I I don't like the the general design not a fan but let's end with Ozika Dragon Maid I opened oh I did a regular unboxing and then I opened another box in a live stream I think but yeah even if I I don't like the mangaka or the author from Miss Crash's Dragon Maid but the it has some very cute uh, interactions or characters, so yeah, and I like to collect Toru or Lukua cards. Okay, I already pulled this one, but it's a very nice four star of uh, Toru, very very cute with some some texture in the background. Very cute card. But yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this uh, series. I I just uploaded my volume two and so far there's like not so much attention or like yeah reaction to it but yeah let me know if you would like to see like a certain TCG or if you like what I do maybe in the future I will try something different or like a little bit different I might uh, add prices at some point even if I don't really care for card prices but for people who watch I think it could be interesting or more interesting so yeah for more unboxings please check out my channel and see you in my next unboxing bye